Uh, and this may seem a little insidious, but I, I need to know which ones qualify as big cats. You know, where do you start, where do you stop? Big cats, the easiest thing, or the most common one, I suppose, is the ability to roar. If you can roar, you're pretty much defined as a big cat. But big cats can't purr. Like your domestic cats at home, they can't purr because the big cats lack two bones down here um, and they hold the larynx in place. The right. big cat hasn't got them, so like a lion when he's roaring, he can drop his larynx down and extend that chamber in there, emphasizing the sound. So that's one thing they say is a, is a big cat trait. Right. Um, if you look at the, the eyes as well of big cats, that's anything like um, they have a round pupils or like a normal cat at home, like the elliptical one, that's a, another change. But the main thing is, is the roaring thing. So yeah. which are, which in grown past what was that? Big um, lion, 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 yeah. big cat. Yeah. See the leopards here. Yes. Um, um, tiger, 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 big cat. Yes. And more. Um, uh, jaguar. Yes, big one. Yes, and uh, puma. Maybe. Right. It depends who depends which books you read. Oh, right. the... Cheetah. Again, maybe um, pumas and cheetahs are on the cuts. Panthers. Are they? Well, panthers are just. Just black leopards, really. So, it is, uh, yeah, or yeah. black I jaguars. That was one of those fallacies yeah. you get in a, a pub quiz, and they say, oh, uh, it's, it's difficult for us here, isn't it? To sort of imagine it. Cause yeah. I've only learnt by going abroad myself occasionally, like as in Borneo a couple of years mm -hmm. ago, and we were lucky enough to go down there. And, and lots of wonderful things. But there you see the way that the, whether it's jungle or forest or anything, yeah, any other habitat, getting split up. Yeah. If you do end up with your fragmented populations, you are going to end up with, with inbreeding and stuff if the population isn't big enough. Because I think you need at least 100 animals to have a genetically viable yeah. population. And when you're talking big cats, to have 100 animals living in an area, I mean, it could, it could be massive. And if, and if you can't establish an area big enough, yeah. You know, you, you're never going to have a, a good population. Which is why also they, they, we've got to make sure that those bridges, corridors is what they always use. A line of, let's say, trees between two isolated exactly. of trees, really. Yeah. And that's all it is, and it's to make sure the animals can get back and forward, and hopefully um, people know to keep out of the way as well. Really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big cat, big match. And you haven't got long now. October the 15th is the last day to donate to the World Land Trust Big Cat Appeal. Please do so.